Hey guys, it's Linda Hobson back with you for video number 20 on my 35 video challenge in seven days. And we are discussing the traits of the failure personality in the book Psycho Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz. And, to, and in this video, we are um, talking about the letter U. And U stands for uncertainty. Now, you know, we all tend to have a little uncertainty. Um, again, you know, it's when it starts getting in the way of your success that it becomes a trait of a failure personality and um, you know it's when uncertainty is starting to be used as an excuse where you know you're taking too long to make a decision because you're afraid to be wrong and um, or you um, kind of overcompensate and you just make snap decisions without looking at the facts or, you know, kind of taking a look at what you're, you know, making the choice over. And then when it doesn't work out, it's that's the excuse that, you know, oh, I, you know, I should have listened to my uncertainty. And so, you know, he talks about about you know how to cure uncertainty and basically it's just taking a good long look at why you know we we are are meant to be, we're not perfect as we I talked to you in um, a couple other videos that he discusses that you know the human being is meant to be an imperfect unfinished being and um, to have a happy healthy successful life you always strive for a worthwhile goal and to improve yourself every day to be better today than you were the day before and but we're gonna make mistakes but the thing with the the difference between the failure um, personality and the successful personality is the successful person is going to use that mistake to learn and to to adjust your course to get back on track. And you know, as I've said many many times, he um, says that we are goal seeking uh, a goal seek goal seeking mechanism, and and likens it to a target seeking missile. You know, the when you when somebody you know shoots off a missile and it's going to supposed to hit this target. It's not a perfect line from start to finish. The missile is going to start on its way and then it's going to check to see if it's off course. And if it is off course a little bit, it adjusts, it gets back on course, and then it goes a little farther and then it's going to check to see if it's off course again. Same thing, you know, with space travel when, you know, they're doing something like getting, you know, sending something to Mars or the moon or something that's going to, you know, go around the Earth it the the machinery is always checking to see um what's gone wrong fix it and get back on course and then he also talks about of course you know um i'm sure you've heard the story before about babe ruth being you know the king of home runs but he was also the king of striking out that no one has a thousand batting average that most you know you have they talk about hitting a 300 you know if you're if you're getting close to 300 or you're hitting something around there you're considered a very very good hitter and um and the same thing with you know um people who are inventing things and um you know that that it's the mistakes that happen that they learn from to get them further or get them closer to their goal to get them further along their their path and so i want to read a little bit about at the end um it's a title the, he titles the paragraph only little men are never wrong another help in overcoming uncertainty is to realize the role that self-esteem and the protection of self-esteem play in indecisiveness many people are indecisive because they fear loss of self-esteem if they are proved wrong Use self-esteem for yourself instead of against yourself by convincing yourself of this truth. Big men and big personalities make mistakes and admit them. It is the little man who is afraid to admit he has been wrong. Quote, no man ever became great or good except through many and great mistakes, um, end quote, said Gal Gladstone. Quote, I have learned more from my mistakes than from my successes, end quote, said Sir Humphrey Davy. Quote, we learn wisdom from failure much more than from success. We often discover what we'll do by finding out what we'll not do, and probably he who never made a mistake never made a discovery, 
end quote, Samuel smiles. Quote, Mr. Edison worked endlessly on a problem using the method of elimination. If a person asked him whether he were he were discouraged because so many attempts prove unavailing, he would say, no, I'm not discouraged because every wrong attempt discarded is another step forward, end quote, Mrs. Thomas A. Edison. And so, you know, it, it just goes back to, you know, everything's tying together that, you know, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to try things and that it might not work. But what you do is you you go on, you, you either tweak that maybe it's working a little bit, but not as good as you would like it to. So you tweak it to improve it and test it again. Or if it's completely not working, scrap that, try something new and see how that works. And with those two things, you will succeed. You just need to always analyze on your way to your goal. And um, if something's not going quite, quite right, fix it and forget it. And then go on and just get back on track. And I will see you in the next video. And don't forget to click on the link below if you'd like to find out more information about me and what I do. And um, just click on the link below and it'll give you more information. And I'll see you in the next video.